I was uh, just reflecting on a quote from uh, the late Robert Lee, Richard Lee, Robert Lee. He's a, one of the original pastors of Bellevue Baptist Church before the uh, before uh, Adrian, the Doctor Adrian Rogers, and he had a quote once that he said that when he gets to heaven, that he can't wait to get to the Negro side of heaven and hear one of those great Negro spirituals. And for this particular meditation, I want to bring one thought over. Heaven won't be segregated. Heaven won't be segregated. Uh, pray with me. Father God, uh, I thank you in advance for clarity of thought. Father, I thank you for soundness of speech. Father, I thank you for the anointing that destroys every yoke and removes every burden. Father, I thank you for the anointing that makes preaching and teaching easy. Lord, we pray that you let there be none of me and all of you. And wherever my will give your name, the glory, the honor, and the praise in the master's name of your son, Jesus. Amen. Heaven won't be segregated. Look, folks, uh, we're separated by all types of things on this side. We're, we're separated by denomination, Church of God in Christ, Church of Christ, no God. Church of God, no Christ. AME, CME, AME Zion, uh, Baptist, National Baptist, Primitive Baptist, Full Gospel Baptist. We've we, we got so many differences. And then you add to that thing, you add the uh, differences in ethnicities, races, and nationalities. And everybody wants to claim, uh, there's so many that want to claim that they got heaven made or heaven on lock. But I come to tell you that heaven won't be segregated. There's going to be some people that have some differences from you. There's going to be people there that don't look like you. Uh, and, and the thing is, if you're having a problem down here loving on someone that doesn't look like you, that you see every day, how can you say the love of God, who you've never seen, exists in your person? Look, folks, uh, I, I know we're staying in, in, we're, we're living in a day where the racial tensions are, are thick and the racial animus is rising. However, we're all claiming that we want to see Jesus, uh, who so many of us are, and we're all claiming that we want to see uh, God. Hey, folks, will we ever see him if we can't love someone that uh, doesn't look like us? Um, how can, you know, you be so, I, I mean, that you want to relegate somebody to servitude status in heaven as if they're segregated? Look, folks, my thing is to make it in. The late Bishop G.E. Patterson had a great saying about about heaven. He said, uh, there's three things you'll learn when and if you make it to heaven. The first thing you'll, three surprises that you'll find. The first surprise is people that you knew will be there won't be there. The people that you thought wouldn't be there will be there. And the third and greatest surprise is that you made it at all. Look, heaven was a place that the old preachers used to preach about. I, I, I would like to tell you that I just grew up hearing about the goodness of God, but I grew up uh, with preachers, uh, and I was hell scared. I, I mean, I appreciate you all's message of grace, but what saved me was that finger-pointing preacher that used to say from Romans 6 and 23 that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through our Lord Jesus. Look, folks, heaven is a prepared place for prepared people. God's not going to let you any big eyes or, or little use. God's not going to let you bring your, uh, <laughs> your uh, nationalistic or, or, or rallying cries to heaven. The uh, only thing that you're going to do inside of heaven's gates is praise the Lord. Praise, you know, I want to see him. I want to look upon, upon my Lord's face. But I do know that I won't be in segregated dwellings. Heaven won't be segregated. There's no back of the bus in glory. All I know is that there's a tree there whose leaves are good for the healing of the nations. 
I, I'm, I, and I can prophetically see over the sapphire seals of heaven's gates that a, a number, a, a great number, more than I can number, and, 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 and people who are dutiful, there's not going to be any separation. And, and look, folks, we need to get stop bringing our earthly things over into heavenly things. But I do want you to know that heaven won't be se segregated. Now, if your desire, I, I mean, you may feel like you want your country back. And, and even on some on the African-American side, you may want to feel your nationalistic thing. And, and so many other, and there's nothing wrong with pride in your personal pride in your heritage. But when that pride gets to the point that you're subjugating other people to secondary or second class status in heaven, Hey, we got a problem. Heaven won't have segregation. You won't go on the Negro side of heaven. You're not going to find it. Uh, a little different meditation, but I just want you to know that heaven won't be segregated. God bless you.